imagination is the power. It's the way to move mountains, to build bridges, to communicate with people and to change the world. And today I'm here in front of you by the power of education. My name is Sadika and I'm a student of Asian University for Women and I'll be graduating on upcoming May 2020. I grew up in a village, a rural part of Bangladesh, where poverty, inequality and early marriage are very common. Since I was born in a poor family as a girl, my parents thought I am a burden of the family. So, while I was in 12th grade, my parents wanted me to marry off. That time I realized that I do not have any decision-making power in my family. So what I did, I ran away from my family to Dhaka and started working in a garments factory so that I can become independent and no more a burden on the family. I worked at Ananta Groups Limited in Dhaka. However, my experience working in a government factory was very difficult. While sitting in front of the sewing machine, I felt like I'm very far away from my dream. My dream to complete my higher education. That time, I was eagerly waiting and praying for a magical lamp to change the situation. And then I have heard about the scholarship of Nation University for Women. I gave the exam and interview. I stood first. After attending AUW, my life completely changed. Since AUW provides a lot of opportunities to participate, I become involved with a lot of extracurricular and leadership activities that made me confident, outspoken, and respectful person. AUW taught me to think about the issues happening around the world and to bring change in the world we are living. And that inspired me to co-found an organization, the Dreams for the Street Children Foundation, where I am working to ensure the educational access for the street children in Bangladesh. As I believe that without education, we cannot bring any positive change in our community. Today, I am very lucky that the power of AUW education helped me to think big, to broaden my perspective, and to bring change in my community. I am very grateful to the AUW community. After graduation, I'm looking forward to serving the people of my nation and bringing change in my community. Thank you. Story. What do you see in, my, in your mind when you hear the word story? Maybe you are thinking about a storybook where the story is written. But we all have our own stories. You have your stories and I have mine. I, Sabina Yasmin, would like to thank our AOW for giving me the opportunity to share my story. Two years ago, I was working in a garments factory in Dhaka. My factory's name is Simba Fashions Limited. Every day I had to work 10 to 12 hours. Maybe for you it's like only 10 to 12 hours. In a day we have 24 hours. So 12 hours is nothing. We still have 12 hours left. But if you think in a different way, every morning I had to wake up early at least one hour earlier then I had to get ready and go to office so another one hour is gone again while coming back to my home also I had to stuck in traffic I hope you guys know about Dhaka's traffic my 24 hours was gone and I gave the test and I did very good result and I got selected for UW then I came to UW there was new challenges because it was only 100% English medium background and I came from a Bangla background. So it was very hard for me to communicate in English. But look at me now. Now I am speaking in front of you all so confidently. Like, if you could see me two years ago and now, like you would have been very proud, trust me. We 
when I joined AOW, like my only goal was okay. I came from governments. I don't want to go back there. I just need money. I want a good future for my family. But while studying, I have learned so many things. Like life is not only about money. So I have decided I'll work with my goal. I have started my own project named Project Obhaya. It's a Bangla word which means fearless. I am trying to work against all the stigmas in Bangladesh. So currently, I am focusing on period. Because I have faced it in garments. Even when I had my untimely period, you won't believe like I was introduced to use unhygienic drags instead of pads. That wasn't my fault. I had to use it. And after that, I couldn't work for a week because of the infection. I couldn't tell my mother. So what I am doing is I am providing free period pads to underprivileged women who can't afford it. They think with that 100 taka they can buy 3 or 4 notebooks for their children. So I know providing free pad every month to 100 women is not a big amount for you but for me it is. For me it is because I dream to spread it all over Chitogang while studying in AUW. I'll target every orphanage, I'll provide them free pad then all over Bangladesh and then in future I want, I, my, I, my dream is to register my Ovaya Foundation which will be in my name. I, Sabina Yasmin, I'll start my own pad company which will be biodegradable pad, environment friendly, which will go to international level. Not after graduating from AW, when I'm studying here, I'm trying my best to fulfill my dreams. Thank you.